Hey strangers, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to go through the House Laboratories Stupid Love Makeup Palette. So I got this through Amazon Vine. It's a reviewing program where I do get products and I can review them for Amazon, but I wanted to bring it also over to my YouTube channel to kind of go over it with you because it's something that I'm interested in and it's like, you know, House Laboratories is newly new so i've never had one of their products before outside of a lip gloss and a lip liner so i really wanted to kind of claim this from the program and try it out for you guys as well as myself so i've already opened it so it's not going to be a true unboxing but i haven't swatched it i haven't done anything with it so i really just want to like dig right so here's what the palette looks like i kind of almost wish that the pink was on the palette just like as a whatever and then you open it up and then the mirror had a little film on it and then you can see her photo here. So what I'm thinking is trying to recreate this look on one eye and then doing maybe like more of a regular look on my other eye just to try to really try out the versatility of the palette. But here are the colors. I really do like the color story. I think that it's not the most like unique or anything, but I think that you really can do a wide variety of looks with it. So we're just gonna dig right in and I'll give my impression of the palette and my review and we'll just go ahead and get started. We have like the teal color, the melon color and the blue color. So that's well beyond probably like what I'm capable of, but we're just gonna do it anyway. So. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is apply the the teal just very close to my eyebrow. It doesn't look like there's a whole bunch. It looks like there's just kind of like a triangle like right here. So the eye I can do the best is this one. So I'm gonna do this eye like the Lady Gaga photo and then I'm gonna do this eye how I would like do a normal eye, I guess. It looks like the colors I'm gonna be using are this color piece that goes into, I wanna say, enemy and then into sign which is the blue i'm just gonna dip right in here's what comes off on the brush which that's oh okay she's pigmented we're gonna go down here wow okay just kind of pack it in i did put some concealer on my eyelids. So that was kind of what I use for primer. I don't have eyeshadow primer for like a base. I've just used my concealer. So it looks like it is sticking though. There's not like a lot of fallout on the face, but I am just kind of lightly packing it, packing it on there. I'll get closer for you guys to see. Does it look, do we look the same? I definitely went too far in. Mm. Okay, you know what? Trust the process. That's the motto that I'm trying to adhere to my life. So I just cleaned off the brush with like an eyeshadow switcher. I really like how small and compact this brush is. This is the Morphe M210 brush. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to poke it into Enemy to try to do the second layer and this color here. And we'll just kind of see what happens. So that's what it looks like on the brush. I definitely went in a little too heavy handed. That's here. This also goes up to the brow. And honestly, if this looks bad, I'm not even going to be mad about it. I'm going to be more excited to kind of see what I do with like a regular day look, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to stretch my boundaries a little bit and try something new. I didn't have like the best day today, so I was going to just come home and feel sorry for myself and I'm not doing that. So I am trying to pick myself back up, have a little bit of fun by doing this makeup look. And even if it looks crazy, I'll just wash it off and have a beer or something. I definitely think I just went into my nose too hard because hers really stops. Oh, I... <laughs> and then that blue really swipes across the whole eye and kind of comes out. So maybe that will complete the look. I think what I want to do is use a bigger brush for that because it's definitely a lot more like area I, I feel like i should have cut it right here which i still can i could definitely wipe it off which i might do so there is that but i'd be lying if i said i wasn't a little nervous so we're gonna dip into sign which is this color here 
that was just two swipes of the brush. That's really pigmented. And the, the pigment's great. The, the shadows are really impressive. I know that Lady Gaga probably wouldn't put out anything that was like bad, but I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up in the middle. Wow, that really, that really showed up. Obviously with some swipes versus packing it, you're not gonna get a good color payoff. I'm just gonna try to stamp rather than swipe. There is a little bit of fallout, but I'm just gonna wipe that away. I think the blue is definitely creating a lot more fallout on my face than the other two colors. I know I'm using more of it, but so she flares it out. It kind of goes straight across and then she flares it out. This color is like giving me Miranda Priestly vibes from Devil Wears Prada when she's like, it's not blue, it's cerulean. And then she kind of goes off. This is definitely more a royal blue, but maybe this color is more. I don't know, but this is the color of her sweater in that scene. I feel like that would be a really cool makeup palette, like a Devil Wears Prada one. And then you literally have like Anne Hathaway and Meryl Streep as the people. <laughs> Could you imagine if I had sneezed on the palette though? I almost did. So maybe I should have done my everything second because this really is smearing. So I'm learning something in that, I guess. This do doesn't look good, which is fine but I guess I don't know what I was expecting. Hers looks so good though. Like, maybe if you crossed your eyes or I blur the video. I'm gonna go back in this piece color, the first color we did, and I'm gonna blend it a little bit more in here. And I'm also, see, I think that looks a lot better. And then I'm gonna go back into Enemy, which is that peach color and meet it down here. I am gonna add mascara. It's thinking the mascara is gonna save the look for me. I'm gonna take a little makeup wipe and loosely go here. And then I'm also, this makeup wipe is drier than do that. Okay, that took some makeup off, but I'm gonna smudge my foundation. That looks better, honestly, in my opinion. I know it's not great, I know, but like, it's passable. We'll see. Okay, now we're going to go on to the other eye, do a more normal look. It's probably just going to be a brown smoky eye because that's what all people are good at, but not all people. So don't feel bad if you can't, I can't. I don't know what I'm saying. So these are all really pretty colors. I know I said it wasn't like original or whatever earlier. Like I, there's not a color that I haven't seen before is what I'm saying, but I do really like all these colors. Like I definitely feel like this is a color story here and this is a color story here. So I might do like a pinky, something in this, this category outside of this color. So I'm gonna go into plastic doll and I'm gonna put this all over the lid. Oh, wow. That's a really pretty color. I'm done, you know? Wow, I really, really like this color. I think on camera it's coming more like a baby pink, but in person, it's more of like a dusty rose. Wow, no, I really like this color. Okay, we'll put a little bit more in the corner. Honestly, you just throw on a liner and you're good. Wow, this color is gorgeous. Like, as <laughs> or I think I might just play with these three here. I really like this color story that's happening. So I'm going to go in with, I'm gonna go into Stupid Love. So the, that color was Plastic Doll. So I'm gonna go into Stupid Love pick that up and then just darken the outer corner just a little bit. Okay, so she came to play that color. So I'm gonna tap some off on the brush and I'm just gonna swirl in the outer corner and just kind of drag it along the crease. Okay, definitely too much. This color is very pigmented. It wasn't as pigmented or it wasn't as like light as I thought it was gonna be. It is dark in the pan, so I don't really know like what I was thinking, I guess. Set it more. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of Plastic Doll and Stupid Love together and just kind of tap it there. Sorry if you can hear the people above me. I feel like lately, I feel like lately our neighbors above us just do like tumbling routines in the middle of the night and they're always just like screaming and they pour buckets of water off of the balcony, which I also don't understand, like use your bathtub. I don't even know what they're doing. So like, I'm sorry if you can hear them. 
I also don't like how this looks underneath here. I wonder if I just go like that. No, oh, I kind of fixed it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little packer brush. I'm gonna go into a thousand doves and I'm gonna put that really in like the corner working my way out. So we'll see how this color, this color really, I don't know. I feel like I can't get like a good swatch of this. Like it's not grabbing it at all. I feel like this one's almost like a little too tightly packed. Let me blend it out with the brush. That's cute. That's like a cute pink moment. I don't know if it's like best for my skin tone, but it like showed up and performed. So I think that's something too. I could have done a color story more with like these colors in there but I really wanted to see how this performed. I'm actually thinking for fun, I might put like something in the corner here. I don't know if it's gonna, I'm saying it's gonna ruin it. Like it's not already a disaster. Let's go with this color. So let's go with Free Woman, just in the corner here, just to kind of like vibrant it up. It almost kind of looks like she does have a little color in that inner corner. So we're gonna try that, you know what? You kind of see how it peels away a little. I don't know if that's just like the color. I'm gonna use my finger again. That showed up a lot better. I'm gonna stamp. No, I think I'm done playing around. Let's get serious. What if I'd opened it up and I literally was just in like amazing makeup. Lady Gaga's next to me. We're like chatting it up. Just kidding. This is the best it's gonna get. Now what I wanna do is, I think I wanna add a liner here and then do mascara. So I'm gonna go in with the Roller Lash by Benefit for the mascara and then for the liner, the Morphe Ink Liner. So I'm gonna do that off camera, come back, we'll close it out and that'll be it. So I definitely think I irritated my eye a little cause it's definitely red here. I think I got some powder in it or whatever, but that's okay, I'm gonna be taking this off probably in the next like 45 seconds. So that is the finished look with everything on. I did go ahead and throw on the House Laboratories lip gloss. This is in the shade Lay Riot. So just wanted to kind of throw it on. I just threw it over the nude lipstick that I was wearing, but I do really like this color. I think it's like perfect for fall and everything like that. So the more I like look at these looks, the more I'm kind of like, I didn't do that bad. But this side is definitely like pink, you know, baby pink, just kind of really cute, really fun. So I really do like this side. And then this side, I mean, obviously it's not the best. I'm not like a makeup artist or anything, but it was just kind of a fun look that has taken some of my stress of the day away. And honestly, that's all I can ask for. So overall, I did really like the palette. I think that the color story is like very beautiful and I, I do really like it. I think that the only kind of like thing that I thought was a little bit weird were these shadows and shades that were a little bit more like pressed in. So when I was trying to grab it with my brush, I was not able to like really pick anything up. And even with my finger, it did show up a little bit, but there's only so much control you have with your finger. So that is just something that I thought was a little bit weird. I did put a little subtle highlight on and that was in the color Light Up. I did try to use a fluffy brush and grab it, but it really wasn't picking up. So I did just loosen it with my finger and tap it on. So I think that that is a little weird. I think the formulation on these like pressed glitters is just a little bit off, but it's nothing that I can't work with, but I know that people are very picky about eyeshadows and everything. So that is just kind of my quick review on the palette. I definitely think I will be getting use out of this. There are a lot of colors that I can see myself using. I really do like this pink look the more and more I look at it. And I think it makes my eyes pop as well. So. I think I'm really excited to try these colors. I think it's perfect for fall. And yeah, that was just kind of my review of the palette. I really hope that you guys like this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you like me or want to see more of me in the future, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.